Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever felt like Figma is running a bit sluggish, maybe your designs are lagging or your workflow just doesn't feel as smooth as it should, you're in the right place. Today I'm breaking down exactly how to speed up Figma and make your designing experience way more efficient. Stick with me, and by the end of this video, you'll have a handful of actionable tricks to keep things running buttery smooth, no matter how complex your projects get. Let's dive right in with our very first tip, avoid using Figma in your web browser. I know it's tempting to just open a new tab and log into Figma, but running such a powerful design tool inside a browser can seriously slow things down. Instead, head straight to Figma.com, scroll down and look for the download section. You'll be able to select the desktop app for your device, whether you're on Windows or Mac. The desktop app is specifically optimized for design work, and it doesn't have to compete with all the other browser tabs and background processes that can drain your computer's resources. It's like having a dedicated workspace just for designing much more stable and way less lag. Moving on to the next important tip, try to avoid hitting that present button unless you absolutely need to. You might think it's handy to preview your work for a client or teammate, but here's the catch. Every time you use present mode, Figma starts using way more of your device's memory. It's like throwing a spotlight on your design, but at the cost of slowing down everything else. Instead, stick to normal view as much as possible and only jump into present mode when it's really necessary. This way your computer won't get bogged down trying to show high-fidelity previews every time. Now let's look at a feature tucked away in the top right corner of Figma. There's a drop-down icon there, click it, and you'll see an option called Pixel Preview. Definitely give this a try. When you enable Pixel Preview, you're telling Figma to show your designs as simple pixels instead of vectors. If you're working on a large, detailed project, vectors can demand a lot from your machine, kind of like asking it to juggle too many balls at once. Switching to Pixel Preview reduces the load so Figma moves much faster, and don't worry, you can always toggle back to vectors whenever you need that high-res detail. Here's a surprising one. The browser you're using can actually make a huge difference. Chrome is famously power-hungry, it takes up a big chunk of your computer's resources, which can leave less to spare for Figma. If you must use a browser version, consider switching to Brave or Microsoft Edge. Both are lighter and tend to play much more nicely with heavy-duty web apps like Figma. It can really be a game-changer for performance. And here's my last tip, but it might just be the most useful. Organize your Figma files by splitting your design into multiple pages instead of cramming everything onto one. Think of a single, overloaded Figma page like a giant suitcase stuffed with clothes the more you jam in. The harder it is to find what you need and the heavier everything feels. By creating separate pages for different stages, sections, or versions of your project, you spread out the workload, making it way easier for Figma and you to handle. So there you have it, some easy but super effective ways to get Figma running faster, smoother, and with a whole lot less frustration. If you found these tips helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you have any questions, or if you have your own tricks for boosting Figma's performance, drop them in the comments below, I love hearing what works for you. And don't forget to subscribe for more straightforward, helpful tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and happy designing!